So we are in the business of weather and climate and advising our people, keeping our people safe and helping people make the most of whatever the weather brings to them. And the reality is that's a hard job. And however competent we are, however much we deploy our science and our technology, there will be times when uh, things don't go exactly according to plan. So it's, it's a difficult starting place. We're lucky here in the Met Office in the UK because we've got a comms team, we've got a press office that has that first point of contact with journalists and, and people are working in the media. So we can take the, the initial contact and work out how best to deal with the inquiry. But the principles apply wherever you are in the world and, and with whatever resources you've got. The most important thing is to find out what they want to talk about. Do you really want to talk about it? Is it for you to talk about? And find out as much as you can, and you have to bear in mind that the media probably won't supply you with questions beforehand, but to find out the line of questioning that they're going to go down, because that way you can prepare your answers. You can get in your head three key things that you would want to say and make sure you can get those points over. Always make time beforehand to prepare for your interview. So, Get a colleague to ask you the questions, to pretend to be the journalist. Put yourself in that situation as realistically as you can so that you can get a feel for answering the questions, making sure that your answers are appropriate to what the questions are and that you're getting your messages across. As the uh, interview begins, um, uh, the, the basic steps, you know, acknowledging the reality of what's happened, correcting any uh, misapprehensions as to what's happened, um, uh, being empathetic if, you know, if there have been uh, uh, fatalities or, or injuries or, or in, uh, inconvenience caused, then we, we can't duck those. We need to acknowledge that that's the case. Um, be honest about the facts and um, to take the conversation from um, the, the negatives of some of the difficulties that have been caused to what we're going to do about it, what, uh, what we expect to happen in the future, um, the confidence that the public can still have in the work that we do. Most of the time it will be appropriate for the National Met Service to do interviews about the weather and its impacts because, of course, that's what we do, you know, that's what we're forecasting and we will be asked questions about it. But there will be occasions where it perhaps isn't appropriate to be the spokesperson about a certain subject it might be something that the weather is related to but isn't something that we can talk about ourselves and then it's important to direct the inquiry to someone who could answer it in a, an expert in a professional way in the way that you would like to answer about the weather so here in the UK for example um, we will talk about the weather and its impacts but some of the impacts like flooding through rivers aren't really in our remit. So we would direct the inquirer onto the department that deals with those. So we would say, you're best talking to the Environment Agency, hear their contact details, give them a call, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help. So you need to assess, are we the right people to answer this question? And if you're not, then put them in the direction of the right person. That helps to build your relationship with the media as well. And if you're helpful to them, they're more likely to be helpful to you in return.